Hello guys, in this video I'm going to share uh, the details about how to get registered as a uh, pharmacist in New Zealand. Okay, so there are many candidates who have cleared the Australian uh, opera exam. Okay. Uh, but nowadays, as we know that in New Zealand, the opportunities are more uh, and they're getting more offer letters from the New Zealand. Okay? So here are, I'm going to share in detail in case if you are interested, then you can also uh, start doing the New Zealand skills assessment and get registered there as a pharmacist in New Zealand. Okay? So the first thing what you have to do is you have to get your initial document uh, assessment or the evaluation done by the New Zealand Pharmacy Council. Okay? So, the, and that process is known as initial consideration of eligibility from New Zealand Pharmacy Council. Okay? So, at first, you have to get this thing done. Okay? Uh, for that, what they will ask the New Zealand Pharmacy Council, they will ask you to submit the English language score again. Okay? But here, PTE e is not acceptable. Okay, so we have to give your IELTS or you have to give OET, Occupational English Language Test. So this is the main challenge here. So again, you have to sit for the English language exam and you have to clear either IELTS or OET. But when once if you clear this exam, IELTS or OET, then all the other process it becomes much easier. Okay? Then the next step, what you have to do is they will ask you to uh, submit a self-assessment and your work experience. Okay, so you have to uh, demonstrate about your work experience um, by giving your self-assessment and so on. Okay, so that's the thing that you have to do. Then with those things like uh, OET exam or IELTS score along with this self-assessment uh, and the documentations with those things they will give you the initial eligibility or initial consideration of eligibility will be done by New Zealand Pharmacy Council then what is the next step the next step is the New Zealand Pharmacy Council they will ask you to uh, go through NZPL course okay so what is this NZPL course so NZPL course it stands for the New Zealand Pharmacy Legislation and uh, actually University of Auckland will organize this course okay? and it will organize this course two times in a year so one will be in the March to May that is for three months course it will be for 12 weeks and the other one will be in uh, August to October okay? so that is for 12 months sorry 12 weeks okay? so this course you can do it online as well so you need not to be there in New Zealand so you can do it online and um, just just from India itself or wherever the country that you are from your home country so you have to enroll in this program and you have to complete this program in three months and after that they will give that certificate and that certificate is essential for you to get registered as an intern pharmacist in New Zealand okay so NZPL course is one of the essential things to get uh, registered as a intern pharmacist in New Zealand okay so these are the few things uh, to know about how to get registered as a pharmacist in New Zealand guys and now it is like many candidates uh, they have been trying to get registered in New Zealand and soon they, they now they are doing the NZPL course okay? and they promised me that when once they complete the course and when once they get uh, fully registered so they are happy to give the interview to me so where I will share more details about how to get registered and how to become a pharmacist in New Zealand as well okay so thank you so much thanks for watching this uh, video and please subscribe to our Elite Expertise YouTube channel okay thank you